Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a 10 sales in 10 minutes video. So, as you can see, we are on, well, we're sort of on my new photo area-ish. Um, so yeah, that is because um, in this sales update I've got some eBay sales for you. Uh, some of which have my uh, new photos in. So please feel free to go down to the comments, tell me what you think, are they good, are they bad? Um, and I really like them, I'm really positive about them. Um, you'll see, on, even on the first sale, um, a, a difference, a real difference from, um, from sort of my older photos. I mean, on that green background, I didn't have the lighting set up, I didn't have any sort of professionalism with it, it was literally just the, the wood. And the background, I mean, but, oh right, yeah, that was a bit of a word of a lie. I did have a tiny lighting set up, set up which you can see here on the wall there, um, where we've been whipped off, were two, like, sort of, I don't know, small black black lights, but you'll know what I mean. Um, so yeah, anyway, we shall get on with the sales update. Actually, there is one more thing I wanted to mention. If you haven't checked out a new YouTube channel called C and H, um, there'll be a link down below to their channel. It's a couple of guys called Charlie and Harry um, And basically they run a partnership business doing this reselling and we've got a new YouTube channel I mean, I've been following them on the Facebook uh, group for a while, you know commenting on their posts, etc all that sort of stuff and um, Yeah, really glad to see that we've got a YouTube channel So yeah, go down below a link will be in the description and go out go there and uh, give them some love and check out their channel so, without further ado, I will get on with the sales update. So, first item I've sold, well, not the first item I've sold, but you get what I mean. The first item on this sales update, I should say, um, is a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, and I've sold this a few times, and every time I've sold it, I've increased the price. Um, and this one had a lot of figures with it. It had loads, it had duplicates. Um, and instead of pulling the duplicates out, I decided to sell it as a massive bundle because even those duplicates, I thought, you know, little kids are going to be playing with this, they're probably going to lose the figures. So I thought including those duplicates would be good because then, you know, if one of the figures go, goes missing, they've at least got another one of it. So it did have duplicate figures with it, but... Um, I decided to include them. I probably could have pulled them out and maybe sold them separately, but I thought, you know what, we'll bung it all in. Um, and I got £30 plus postage. It is a bit of a bolo, that, if you don't know already. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about it, but the first time I picked it up, I just went on instinct. So, I don't know whether people have talked about it in the, in the groups or whatnot, but yeah, it is a bit of a bolo, that. Um, and I paid £3.99, so... Happy days turning that into £30 plus postage. Um, next was something I've not really sold that many of. And it was a Guitar Hero bundle with a game. Um, and I paid three quid for that. It was in a haul video a while back. And I managed to turn that into £25 plus postage. So, can't complain there really. Um, a second guitar went, actually. I think, I think I've done this in chronological order. Or maybe I haven't, but I don't know. Um, but two guitars went actually, because I have three guitars in total, one still listed. Um, and then the second guitar went, and um, I got £25 plus postage for that one. Again, having paid £3. So, again, happy days on that one. Um, and those three items all had my new pictures on, and they all went within a week. I think that Mickey Mouse Clubhouse went within about three days. Now, that is normally a kind of quick seller. Oh, I can just see my mum pulling up now. So, if I have to pause this video, you know why. But, anyway. Um, so, yeah, they all had the same photos. They are, you know, the new photos. I don't know whether that improves the sell-through rate. I haven't a clue. It might do, it might not. I have a theory that it might do a little bit. Obviously, pictures do tend to help sell your items. And eBay will tell you that as well. If you go into the, like their help section or whatever, they always promote good photos. So, yeah, that was those. Anyway, I'll just pause the video here because I want to go down and just say hi to my mum. And then I'll come back up and I'll restart it. So, see you in a minute. Right then, guys. Back on with the sales update. So, uh, what was I on? Ah, yeah. 
Uh, fourth sale is a NES cart, which was um, Ma uh, NES Open Golf. I always want to say Mario Open Golf because it has the little picture of Mario on it. Um, and I got that in the recent haul. You will have seen the Nintendo Entertainment System and a load of games, and I paid 80 quid for the lot. So that'll just go towards like sort of covering the cost of a job lot, and then when I sell other things, it'll become profitable. So. Yeah, that's that one. Um, next was something I've had sat around for ages. I honestly wasn't sure whether it would actually sell or not. Uh, there's not many things that I'm like, I don't know whether they're going to sell. Uh, but this one I did have, it must have been a year. Must have been a year or something like that. Um, and that was a Blue Bear uh, plush bundle. So there's two in total. Don't ask me why I put two Baloo's together. It's just like weird and not like one, you know, one guy and then another guy. You know, like I put two of the same character together in a bundle. It makes no sense. But maybe that's why they weren't very saleable. But anyway, um, I paid four quid for them at an indoor car boot sale that I'm actually going on this Sunday as well because it's on again. Um, it's usually on in the winter time. So I must have picked these up like sort of last December or not, not the December just gone. I mean the December in 2015 yeah i think that's right so i must have picked them up sort of around that, that around that time um but yeah they sold for 19 quid for postage so i was happy just to get rid of them there's a little bit of profit in that but not a huge amount so just happy to get rid of them really um next was something i love picking up and that is like uh sealed audio um blank cds cassettes things like that vhs i love picking it up um, I think a lot of people do, I don't know why that is, I mean, I, I just love picking it up, so, um, yeah, that was a Sony CDR Audio Blank CDs, and there was two packs of ten, I believe, um, and they went for 20, they were originally on for 29 99 plus postage, but I accepted an offer of £27 plus 2 99 postage, so 29 99 in total, um, I did pay a little bit more for them than I would normally pay, you know, average items I'd be paying sort of like two, three pound for, but these items paid ten pound for in total, five pound each. But I was confident they'd go. I'd I'd I'd, so, I'd sold uh, similar things in the past, so I was confident I'd get some good money for them. And we went really quick again, and it's uh, again it was from my new photo area, so it leads me to think that it is really helping this photo area. Maybe not, maybe maybe so. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they went within a week or so, so I can't complain with that. Um, again, that NES Open as well, that was a new photo, and it went really quick. So it just, it, I mean, it, I don't know, it's just something sticking around my brain thinking that these photos are really helping. Um, next was a Nintendo Wii box with Wii Fit and games. I am very aware I could have sent this into FBA. I don't know why I kept it on eBay. I just did. Um, I had it up for like 60 or 70 quid in the start, then I reduced, then I reduced, then I reduced, um, and I paid about 20, 25 pound in a job lot, so there wasn't that much profit in this in the end, and if I had maybe sent it into FBA or done something different with it, I might have been able to get a bit more profit out of it, um, but yeah, from one reason or the other, it, it just didn't want to sell, and it kept staying there, staying there, staying there, until it sold... Um, a few days back for £45 plus postage. Um, it wasn't too bad to wrap up that one. It does look like quite a big bulky thing. But I did have a box for it. And I'd used that big bubble wrap. You know those really big bubbles. Um, and wrap that round the board. And wrap that round the, the, the Wii box as well. Um, and then just put, sort of put the games in smaller bubble wrap. And then put them to the side. And then load a void fill in the box, wax the box, uh, wax the box closed. So, I don't know why I'm explaining my packaging process to you, but, yeah, anyway. Um, so it wasn't too hard to package, and there was a bit of profit in that at least, and I was happy just to get the money back and reinvest it in other things. So, that, those I'll just have to flip over the page. So, next we have a Quick Shot Devastator control stick. I think this is for a PS1, if I remember rightly. Um, I paid £4 in a job lot for that and turned it into £15 plus postage. Um, I think, I don't know how long that took to sell actually, maybe, um, 
I don't know, maybe two, three, four weeks, something. Uh, I don't think it was quite a month. I think maybe three weeks, something like that. Um, but yeah, happy with that. You know, not an amazing profit, but you know, a little bit of money in the bank. Um, next was something I had to include. I really did. I had to include this. I think this was one of my older photos as well, so you'll be able to judge the difference between the old and the new photos. Um, and I actually sold a flat cap. Now, I did these in a few kinds of different ways. I got a hat bundle ages ago, and I've actually sold some uh, quite a few items from that bundle. I'm in profit on it anyway. Um, and I did a few, as I say, I, did, I sold them in a few different ways. I did like bundles of three, and then I did like um, a winter hat bundle and a summer hat bundle, and I did hats individually, and you know, all these different things. And then I did bundles based on. Um, you know, size like 58 centimeter hat bundle and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, I mean the slow sellers hat. See, that's the general gist of what I've got from from selling some of them over the past few months. But yeah, they they, they do sell. Um, and I wouldn't sell them like that again. I'm not selling them individually like that for four pound plus postage. But um, but yeah, I would definitely buy them. You know, for 20p, 50p at a boot sale and bundle them up and just let them sit on there um, because I know at some point we're going to sell so so yeah I was quite happy with that, it's a bit of an experiment and as I say I, I, I'm basically on prof, profit on the job lot anyway, I'm in profit on the job lot but um, but yeah if I had to put a number on it I'd paid between sort of 50p and a pound for those um, so yeah happy with that and then finally Lego tan coloured bricks, a job lot of about 450-500 grams, I think it was around that, and um, yeah, I paid £4.50 for those, so I was happy with that, and um, I sold for £15 plus, plus postage, so I can't really complain there, they did sit around for a while, I don't feel, in my personal opinion, maybe it's just the way I'm selling it, but I feel as if Lego is slower, I don't know, like, when I first started and I was doing a lot of Lego, well, sort of like six months into my reselling, I started doing a lot of Lego, and it seemed to be quicker back then for me, now it seems to be a bit slower, I don't know whether that's just the way I'm selling it, as I say, or whether that is a sort of trend in the market, I don't know, but I mean... We know that the price of Lego has sort of taken a little bit of a hit on eBay, especially the kilo bags, things like that. So it could be true, you know, it could be sort of dropping off a little bit on eBay or something. Just market's a bit saturated, it's full of sellers, sort of like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's some of my sales for the last sort of few days. I think most of these were sales over the past week, so they're quite recent. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to sort of show you some of the sales with my new photos, again, some of them with my older photos, because I think there was a few sales in there uh, that had older photos on, but I can't remember which ones now, but when I come to edit the, edit the video, then I'll know. Um, so yeah, don't forget, please do go down below and like my Facebook page, because I'll be putting, I'll be posting more regular sales updates over there, as well as on my channel, but there'll be... Uh, they'll be a little bit more regular over on my Facebook page because it's a bit easier for me to do over there And then you know sort of once every two weeks once and once for every three weeks four weeks um, I'll be doing a sales update on this channel. So yeah, if you want to see more of my sales just go over um, Down below to my Facebook uh, Facebook page. So I will see you very soon guys um, I'll probably see you in Thursday talks next so look forward to that and see you in a little bit Forever, boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room, spend the night together from now until forever. Boom, 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 boom. Should I have the old light on? I shall. What do you think? I don't want it to right out. What the hell? Oh god, that's gonna be too much. Um. Yeah, that's going to be too much, is it not? The shadow. Let me turn it up. Oh. Let the 
thing. No, it's getting blimey. No, that just casts more of a shadow. Although, it does look pretty cool, like, you're in the spotlight. Uh, right, yeah, anyway, we'll do it like this.